see some epic battles to declare the iOS workshop king or queen. I am Sandy, your host, and to my right is Andrew. Andrew, it's a new week. How are you feeling? I am feeling great today, Sandy. Yeah, hopefully you guys can hear the audio upgrade we recently got. So uh, yeah, hopefully I'm not as blurry as I used to be. But th that being said, I am so excited today, Sandy. And yeah, we have our co-host uh, right here as well, Jimmy. Jimmy is super excited to see more uh, dinosaurs fighting each other as well. He has always been a big fan of dinosaurs. Aren't we but, all? Yeah, really, really excited for a whole day of uh, competition and seeing you guys' creations. And yeah, I've already uh, gone through a few of your creations. You know, some of them a little bit crazy, but yeah, I really love a crazy one. So. Same, same, same. All right, if you guys don't know, we are doing this stream because the month of September is Arbs' birthday month. So happy birthday to Arbs. And also with that, we have a TikTok filter that is live right now. So go check it out. Go use it. It's super fun. It's very awesome. Arbs. Use hashtag Arbs Aversary. Say A-R-B-S-I-V-E-R-S-A-R-Y. And tag us and so we can share see it. Your video yeah, super fun. We love it. Make sure to go animal use it. Now, just to make sure everybody is on the same page, today is day one of the iOS server tournament. Tomorrow is day two. Last week was the Google Play server tournament, and those VODs are still available to watch on our YouTube. So if you miss them, do not fret. They are still available, and you can sc still go watch the awesome fights that we got to see. Now, there were over, again, 500 entries for the iOS server just in itself so there was a th over a thousand entries in total so again i just want to thank you guys for being such an amazing community really rock our socks we would not be anywhere without you guys so thank you t thank you for taking all the time to watch the videos and the stream and you know all the fun stuff we ask you to do but i'm sure you have some questions about how today is going to go it's very similar to last week but andrew could you tell us how today is going to work of course Andy. Super fun. All right, so if you watched last week's stream, you know that la the lasers are kind of meta. And if you don't like the lasers, I'm sorry to announce there will still be lasers in today's and tomorrow's stream. But my question to you, Andrew, is if you were to put a laser on a unit, where do you think is the best place to put one to get hopefully the first hit and win the match? Mm -hmm. Okay, that is a very good question, Sandy. So in terms of this meta, I like you mentioned, um, I would say facing forward is the most important thing, so you get that initial hit of boost the damage immediately. And uh, yeah, maybe the head, the hands, maybe the chest. I think those are those are really, really great positions for the uh, lasers to be. But yeah, uh, guys, unfortunately we will be seeing lasers. We did think about you know maybe changing it up a little bit, um, maybe restricting lasers, maybe one or two. But you know we didn't want to change the rules like you know a few days right before the event started. So yeah, we are allowing lasers for um, this kind of thing. But maybe in the future we will be limiting them and maybe only putting up, you know, ranged weapons only or maybe just crossbow and related weapons. But yeah, for today you will be seeing a lot of related weapons. I think maybe not. I don't know. Who knows? We'll Anything can happen, there. right? <laughs> All right. And again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. But before we get started, gotta plug our socials. So please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, follow. All of our socials we are active on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. TikTok and YouTube. We post all the time. We always do fun events like this and we give news about upcoming updates. So make sure to follow for all things ARBs. All right. And I think with that, I think it's time to get started. Andrew, what do you say? Yep, yep, yep. Yes, Sandy, I am so excited to get started. And why don't we fire up the random pool generator and let's see who our first contestant is going to be. All right. We are here. Do, 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 do. Can I get a drum roll, please? And the first contestant will be number 49. Do, 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 do. And now the 
second one will be 38. 49 and 38. Wow, two low numbers. That's pretty wild. Number 49 and 38. Prepare yourselves for battle. All right. To the battlefield. All right, we are here. We have arrived. Oh, I'm excited for day number technically three. I'm excited, you know, all new fresh units. Exactly, and look what we have here. On the left, we have a what looks like a jet or an airplane at least. And on the right, we have a looks like a new rescue Moguera. I'm not sure where that creature is from, but it does look very intimidating. Actually, let's get a little bit closer in and take a look at the Moguera. What do you think, Sandy? I do like the creation here. I'm very into this. He looks awesome. The spikes on his back, like super creative. I, is he from something? Chat, let us know. Are we just un uncultured? I don't know. Yeah, are we just <laughs> too old to know where yeah. this thing is from? And, but uh, super cool. Great, great design skills to that creator. And on the left right here, we do have a jet. It looks like a jet. It's named the jet. It looks like an airplane kind of like combat thing. We did rocket launchers to cross those in the lake without the front. I do like his creation as well. It looks like he has used up the uh, total of two thousand. He also looks really cool. This is a super exciting first match because these are very different looking units compared to what we saw last time. And I love his little skeleton legs there at the bottom. Though I'm afraid he might have a, some trouble walking, but maybe it's just there for luck. I don't know. Skeleton legs, I think you're right. Like I, very and cute. And he is chiming in. He does support the uh, Moguera because he doesn't remember the dinosaur, but it looks like kind of cool, so we shall see. Oh. Chat is saying that he is from Godzilla. Ah, okay. So I guess we well, are just uncultured. <laughs> yeah, we're just uncultured. All right, then, let's begin the battle, shall we? In what? three, in three, two, one, go. Whoa. Ooh, that's a double flip. Okay, did you see him withstand those lasers? I he, didn't see that. guys. We have a super cool new feature for you. Are you ready for this? Do 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 do. Instant replay! Yay! Yay! Yay. Yay. Okay, that was kind of fast. Hopefully it plays again. I'm not sure. Sorry for the technical difficulties. But yeah, he was still with those lasers like no one's business. That was super cool. And the other one, the satellite looking guy, flipped around and then exploded. Super cool. Great first battle. Right, I also thought that. All right, headed over to the rolling screen. <laughs> All right, ready, and we are picking our next contestant. Do do do. Four ninety two, number four ninety two. You are going against three twenty eight. All right, prepare yourselves for battle. Who is it gonna be? We so have made it. We have an interesting looking contestant here. We have what seems to be a centipede. Yep, it's named the centipede on the right. And on the left is the mutant Godzilla. Mutant Godzilla. Okay, both of these are terrifying. The Godzilla spiky hands. Like, they gotta do some damage, right? I'm thinking that the, yeah, the, 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 the spiky hands, hopefully they do meet the centipede. But the centipede is quite a bit deadlier with those, uh, T-Rex head on the head right there. I don't know if it's gonna reach the uh, Godzilla though. Yes, true. I want, like, is there, I don't know if I see any lasers on them, but maybe I am just blind. I don't know. The centipede is definitely from my nightmares, like straight out of it. So very interesting yep, the, fight. Yep, the centipede is a few legs shorter of the coming a millipede, but right. yeah, it does look like uh, they are quite ready for battle and shall we see. Let's do it. Draw? Oh, or did the centipede win? Hmm. I think we're gonna have to see that one again. Oh, I missed it. Okay, I'm still working on the um the whole 
instant replay thing. Sorry guys, I will get better with that. Yes, I am blind. Thank you, chat. Benji, you're right. I'm very blind. Thank you for that. All right, but let's pick our next contestant. Is a uh, meta for uh, the competition this time. She can move weapons inside the mouth from that passive or amount of damage and aiming. So, uh, yeah, congratulations to Set B who have won this round. And let's move on to R and G. All right, we are picking number 45 and then do 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 do. 359, number 45 and 359. All right, and we are headed over to the battlefield. There we go. All right, we are here. Wow, those are terrifying. Mm -hmm. those, those, look, those look terrifying indeed. I see a elephant head uh, looking creature. It actually reminds me kind of like an octopus, like the head. I do like this creation very, very much. What do you, what is it remind you of Sandy? Like hmm. Girl. You know, I'm not entirely sure. I like the creativity behind it, though. You know, it's not just like a dinosaur with some armor on it. He's got all the crazy parts. He's like a. What do you a, uh, what do you call those things from the medieval time where their bodies are like half human, half bull? Oh, you mean the minotaur? Minotaur. He's like an elephant minotaur. Ooh, elephant minotaur. I wonder if that's a name. Elephant. Yep. But this one, this, you know, I'm watching the House of the Dragon, probably like most of the world. So I gotta think, I gotta root for the dragon. Yeah, look at those, the little arm thingy looking things over there. I don't know if those will reach, but I do see some lasers on the mouth and the head there. So yeah, those might actually do quite a bit of damage. So I just don't know if the uh, elephant guy has any uh, secrets uh, best advice for us. So right. Uh, Fire cannot cannot kill a dragon, so can lasers. Who knows? <laughs> Let us see. Shall we? In, oh, sorry. In uh, three, two, one. Lasers, maybe. Oh, whoa! Oh, Woo! Go for go, dragon house Targaryen all the way. <laughs> yep, looks like the uh, laser weapon and flame weapons did indeed work in battle for the dragon this time. So yeah, hopefully we will be able to see. Uh, yeah, I, w I was a big fan of that one. Uh, do we have any other um, Targaryens in the chat? Any other people watching House of the Dragon? Because, come on, guys, it's such a great show. All right, but we are picking our next contestants. Do, 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 number. Why you put elephant head? I am not sure you will have to ask the contestant, but I do think it looks cool. Yeah, I liked it. No, there is no judgment on the creation of our units in um, the ARBS workshop tournament. But number 36, you will be going against 260. 260. All right. And we are ready. Let's head on to the battlefield. Awesome. And we have made it. All right. And what do we have here? Looks like another kind of Mecha Godzilla looking thing on the left here. And then, yeah, I do love the armor plating. Armor plating saves lives, guys. You can always use more armor plating. And uh, yeah, I, I'm not quite sure what the weapons are here, Sandy. What do you see when you see the weapons? Um, I see that it is very shiny. <laughs> you know, and we all love um, a good shine. I'm not entirely sure. I think I see some on like the shoulders right there. Yeah, I think I see like some paws and like weapons on the shoulders. Because there we go, some rocket launchers on the uh, shoulders right there. I uh huh. Let's Very see interesting. The right. This is called a Demon Phase 3. Demon Phase 3. You know what? Perfect name. Great. Because that looks definitely like a demon. I'm really into just the skeleton torso. Though I'm afraid it won't give much armor. So it might be kind of weak. Or not yeah, weak, but uh, how breakable. Many, how many hit points this thing has? It might just like crumble in the first sign of... Uh, combat but i don't know i don't know um, someone said Andrew, mecca randall <laughs> he is saying that uh, he definitely likes both of them but he's going to root for the dinosaur figure instead what do you know and yeah he just reminds us of a randall from the uh, android book it doesn't he? yes i like i liked him so you know what maybe i gotta go with him as well lancer says i see lasers so 
think this is gonna be a quick one. I'm ready. Let us go in three, two, one, fight. Oh, they Whoa. Out. Out oh. Explosion. Explosion. Wow, okay. I definitely did not think Demon Phase 3 was gonna win that one. I really did not. Yeah, it looks like the Demon Phase 3 was able to do enough damage to the uh, T Rex before it expired. Actually, it also, it's almost a claw, actually. It only had a sliver of health left. Wow. That's pretty, that's pretty crazy. I was completely wrong. I thought he was going to be like hit with one laser and just be pooped in like toast. So, because he just didn't have much of a body there. But I was wrong, just like always. Nothing changes here around here. We are going to go ahead and pick our next contestants. Do, 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 do. Number 180, number 180, you are going against. Do, 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 205, number 180 and 205. Alrighty, I am on the way. <laughs> Someone said Randall can't get a break. Poor Randall. Alright, wow, that is definitely a crazy looking unit. What is that? Yeah, I don't know. It looks like um, a T-Rex holding a shield. I don't know. The, the, the creation is called Shieldzilla. It's definitely one of the larger creature, uh, creations we've seen so far. I wasn't sure that uh, he was able to limit without going over but yeah definitely one of the larger creatures in the competition so why and i am like you know what the name fits and you know i love a good creative name so i'm here for it but because there's so much going on either he is going to destroy or he's going to be a fluke you know mm -hmm, right. yeah it is so large and there's so many arm plating on this guy they're actually lacking out the game a little bit so hopefully nothing uh, <laughs> yeah, hopefully yeah, nothing crazy goes wrong. The is a lot more simpler. It's called the uh, worm, and yeah, it does look like a worm. I was gonna say that. I, I, I do definitely see the worm, and he's kind of terrifying. The little pokey guys he has at the end of his mouth, scary. Though I'm not sure this was a great matchup for him because can he get through the twenty layers of shields? I don't know. <laughs> yep, let's see. Matt Sheldon in three, two, one, please don't crash. Oh, laser oh. defense, take the shield, and... Worm did not stand a chance. Yep. All right, we're gonna try this extra replay again, guys. Do, 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 do. Oh, here we go. Okay, nice. Perfect. Yep, we got it. Oh, not even a remote chance for the worm. The lasers, that was a thick laser, am I wrong? This is a very, very thick laser indeed, and a lot of armor plating. I think that might be the meta for um, this competition. Is that the right. a lot of armor plating to block the other, uh, the other size lasers, and yeah, more lasers on your <laughs> side to uh, beat up the other guys. Lancer said, "Shield hero." Though I will say, the last comp, the last match, the unit that won didn't even like. He had a skeleton torso. How did he win? All right, we are picking our next contestants. Do, 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 number 323. You are going against, do, 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 271. All right, prepare yourselves for battle. Who are our next contestants? All right, let's move on to the battle field, shall we? And we have some interesting contestants again. Um, the one on the left is named there is Siren Head. It does remind me of the Siren Head very, very much. What do you think, Sam? I like him a lot. I feel like a lot of creativity went into this. Like, look at all the colors, and that had to take a little bit of effort and a little bit of time. So I'm I'm liking it a lot. I do think so as well. And the picture on the left is called the Atomic. The Atomic? Mutated, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I like the little mini dinosaur on top it looks kind of like he's riding whatever oh, yeah, that yeah, thing is below him well. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah jimmy jimmy says it looks like him i don't know jimmy he's a lot skinnier than you are <laughs> yeah you um you can see his ribs haha <laughs> literally you can see his ribs <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know. There's a, both very creative contestants with very great names. So, hmm, I don't know which one I can pick. I, th I think I'm going to go with the Siren Head. He's just so yeah, cool. Yeah, me too. I do feel like the Siren Head just looks so interesting and so cool. We'll just have a... I don't know. He looks a little bit unstable, though. I really hope he doesn't fall down. That I do see that for sure. Hmm. I guess only time will tell. All right, then. Three, two, one. Fight. Oh. 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 Oh, Siren Head is moving in, and... Wow! It didn't really look like Siren Head had any lasers. I guess we can take a look. Hmm. But, yeah. There was a little bit of a longer match because one of them didn't have any sir any um, lasers. Yep, there was no lasers from Siren Head. But the Atomic was pretty cool. He ran into him and finished the final blow. Sandy, but yeah, that's a little bit unfortunate. He didn't actually, I just noticed now also that the Siren Head didn't use up all of his points. So oh. yeah, that's for another reason why he didn't win. So yeah, be sure to use up all of your points, guys. 2,000 is the limit. And uh, you know, just don't go over it. Lancer said Jimmy is always right. Can we get that on a t-shirt? <laughs> Jimmy is always right. All right, we are picking our next contestants. Do, 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 do. 264, number 264, you are going against yep. 347. 69 says Siren Head got destroyed. Yes, you are right. Siren Head did get destroyed. Rip to Siren Head. All right, we have made it to the battlefield. And uh, once again, well, one of them look, looks very interesting. One of them kind of just looks like a dinosaur, but. Predator. He looks actually really cool. Are those feathers? Yeah, like, uh, that's super cool. Okay, I'm really into him. Took a lot of, you know, creativity and effort, so I love that. <laughs> and the creature on the left, it's called, oh, it's just called Andrew for some reason. Guys, don't name your creatures after me. You're not going to get preferential treatment, okay? So name your creatures well, but yeah, it just, it's just called Andrew on the left. I promise it's not me. Guys, make sure your creatures. I think he actually likes it. You like all the contestants. The last Doom Andrew won Google Play. Yeah. And uh, Jimmy says, yeah, he does like Andrew and Jim. Thank, thank you, Jimmy. So I'm not sure if you're talking about the dinosaur or me. <laughs> all right. I, you know what? I, I got to root for the one on the right, Predator, because he's just so cool, but I'm always wrong, so. but then it like took him up and then he was dead so rip to andrew but congratulations to predator that was um super fun you have a super cool little uh unit you got there and all right we are picking our next contestants chat can i get a drum roll do 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 36 i definitely think we've already picked 36 okay we're gonna pick a new one do 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 13 lucky number 13 you are going against 282, number 13 and 282. All right, we are headed over to the battlefield. What do we have here? Wow, I like that they kind of coordinate. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't even, there's so much going on, I'm not even sure what to like. U. Okay, U. Oh, not, it's just a U, like the letter. Yeah, not like a Y-O-U, just a U. Exactly. 